And there was a um, article talk about the the woman that wrote about meeting her husband and them waiting, and then finally they got married. You know what the, what, the one that I wrote you about? Yeah, actually, it's called uh, "Staying Pure." <clears throat> excuse me, in an impure world. And she was a virgin, and she had made up in her mind that she was going to wait until she was married to have sex. And um, God placed a wonderful man in her life, who's her husband now, Mm -hmm. and he made up in his mind, even before he met her, that he was going to wait until marriage to have sex. So they met, and they fell madly in love, and um, obviously it was hard because when you do love someone, you want to share something special with them as sex, but they had a deeper covenant with God and they decided to wait. And so he was her first, she was his first, and they only know each other, which Mm -hmm. I think is beautiful. So that sounds great, Mm -hmm. Um, like based on my faith and based on, you know, but as a journalist playing devil's advocate, one can say, you know, if you have two people that don't know what they're doing, right. then it's going to be an issue. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, just as, as human beings, right. you know, it's, it's, it might be hard for somebody to reconcile that. Like, so what would you say to someone that, that came at you with that response? Well, I would say there are tons of information out there. There are sites that will teach you how to do it step to step, that will tell you what stimulates him, what stimulates her. There's tons of sites, tons of books. You can find anything on sex anywhere nowadays and um, it's not rocket science (laughs) you know I'm sure there's a lot to learn about how to please a man and how to please a woman how to please your husband or your wife but the information is limitless so Mm -hmm. if there's any problems go read a book go take a class google it